Oh, good job. Please be seated. President, President, the court is now in session. Today, the chamber will hear the testimony of a civil party that is through TCCP 273. Ms. G.S. Wong, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunti is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered uh, through the uh, greffier. Civil party who is to testify today, that is through TCCP 273, is present and ready to be called by by the chamber, we have a reserve witness that is through TCW804 today. Through his best ability, he has no relationship by blood or by law to any other two accused, that is Nun Chi and Kiev Porn, or through any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness took an oath before the Iron State True. I don't clap state to this morning. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chir. The chamber received a waiver from Nun Chir dated 2nd June 2015, which notes that due to his health, that is back ache and back pain. He cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at his second June 2015 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen a medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 2nd June 2015, who notes that Nun Chi today has a severe back pain and dizziness, and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nuchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs, right and audio-visual means. The AB unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that no chair can follow the proceedings remotely. That applies for the whole day. The the chamber would like to inform the parties and the general public that during the hearing of testimony of civil party through TCCP 273, a TPO staff will provide support to the civil party during her testimony today. 
court officer please urge the civil party through TCCP through 73 as well as the TPO staff into the courtroom. So today, President, good morning, Madam Civil Party. What is your name? Civil Party. Good morning, Mr. President. And good morning, judges, and prosecutors, and counsel, as well as participants in the court. My name is Singh Sovidar, and my original birth name is Siu Moon, Liu Siu Moon. President, what is your date of birth? Answer. My uh, actual year of birth is 1964. L'année de ma naissance est 1964. Question. Where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. I was born in quarter 5, Je Phnom Penh. Je suis né dans le quartier 5 à Phnom Penh. Question. Where is your current address? Quelle est votre adresse actuelle? Answer. Réponse. I live in Psaat May number one, Psaat May Don Ping district, Phnom Penh. Don Ping, ville de Phnom Penh. Question. Question. What is your occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Answer. I am Réponse. a public servant at the Ministry of Interior. Je suis fonctionnaire au ministère de l'Intérieur. Question. What is your father's name? Question. Quel est le nom de votre père? Answer. Lu Jiu Siem is my Le father's Chiu name. Siem est le nom de mon père. Question. What is your Question. mother's name? Quel est le nom de votre mère? My mother. Answer. Réponse. My mother's name is Mao Gum Jan. Mao Gum Jan. Question. What is the name of Question. your husband Quel and how many children do you have together? Mari et combien d'enfants avez-vous avec lui? Answer. Mokradat Visna is my husband's name, and we have two children together. President, thank you, Madam 
Président, je vous remercie, Madame Sovida. As a civil party before this chamber, you will be given an opportunity at the conclusion of your testimony to make a victim's impact statement if you wish to do so concerning the crimes which are alleged against the accused. Pursuant to Rule 91 based of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber hands the floor to the political lawyers for civil parties first. The chamber I uh, would also like to remind the political lawyers that the uh, combined time for the political lawyers for the civil parties as well as the uh, co-prosecutors is two sessions. You may proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank Bonjour you, à Mr. tous. President. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour, Madame Singh Sovida. Good morning, Madam Teng Sorida. Je vais vous, vous poser un, un certain nombre I de questions ce matin. Questions Ma première question est une clarification. Vous avez indiqué au Président que vous, étiez, president vous étiez né en 1964. In 1964. Or, à la lecture However, de la carte d'identité qui figure card, which is euh, jointe à votre constitution de parti civil, civil party et je me réfère ici au document D22-2531, il est indiqué que vous êtes né en 1967. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser à la Cour pourquoi il y a cette différence entre la date sur votre carte d'identité et la date de naissance que vous venez d'indiquer aujourd'hui au Président. When I left uh, the Khmer Rouge regime, I was an orphan living with my uncle and aunt, and they changed my name in order to suit their uh, family's name. But actually, I was born in 1964. However, on the official document that I use at the moment, it indicates that my date of birth is 1967. And that's what happened. Je vous remercie. Pour, pour commencer mes questions, Thank je vais you. me référer à votre a start, constitution de parti civil. Donc le document est le D22-2531, ERN en français 010-95-759. ERN en anglais 01-03-38-43, ERN en Khmer 005-00-55-21-59. Dans le premier paragraphe de cette constitution de parti civil, vous expliquez votre parcours à compter du 17 avril 1975 et j'aimerais simplement vous faire confirmer votre parcours pour que nous puissions ensuite concentrer nos, nos questions sur votre expérience sur le barrage du 1er janvier. Donc si je me réfère à ce document, et au premier paragraphe, vous étiez à Phnom Penh le 17 avril 1975 avec votre famille. Vous avez ensuite été évacué vers la province de Kandal, puis dans un deuxième temps vers la province de Kampancham. Vous avez ensuite séjourné dans un village dans la montagne qui s'appelle le village de Muk Phnom. Et puis vous avez ensuite été à nouveau transféré dans le village de Rousseikello, dans le district de Prekasob, province de Kratier. Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer que ce parcours est bien, est bien exact
what Jimnit Pagoda, I was uh, rather young at the time, and we stayed at the Pagoda for about a month. And then they sent about 100 to, to 200 people to Kroochma district, Kampung Cham province. We stayed there for about six months. And there was nothing on the top of the mountains. They built two rows of small huts for us to stay. And my mother was. Uh, contracted through malaria, and my siblings were also uh, sick, and my father was asked to use to engage in all kinds of work there. My other sister also worked. They gave us half a can of a rice for each person. However, the soup was uh, communal. And each family had to go and get the soup, and then we can. Uh, we could bring the soup back to eat in our family, but the soup was not enough. Then I tried to find a supplementary diet by looking for crab and other uh, food. I went rather further to look for supplementary food for my family and my parents. And actually, my parents uh, grew some vegetable, but after six months, we were further evacuated to Rusaikao, Preprasop, district Krati province. They Built a small hut for our uh, family, and it was located behind uh, the village. My father once again uh, fell sick, and he was accused of being a capitalist. And we were threatened and interrogated about the role of my father. I didn't tell him the truth, and I uh, told him uh, lies. Later on, I was placed in a, a child's unit, and because I was a bit uh, taller than the rest, I was moved to a mobile unit working together with my elder sister. I worked uh, in the mobile unit for several months, and actually we did not work in the village. We were sent to work deep into the forest. I was uh, younger than the rest, but I had to do the same kind of work that the other people who were older than me worked. And we were located from one work site to the next, and I cannot recall the names of those uh, work sites. And there is uh, one work site at Xater village uh, that I just recalled, and in that village, all the, the people there died. We were sent to work in that uh, village, and my other sister later on was forced to, to marry. At the time, she was around 15 to 16 years old, and she didn't consent to the marriage. And my mother also didn't want to my sister to get married uh, since she was young, but we did not have uh, any choice, and we were afraid that we would be mistreated. So we finally uh, consented to the instruction. And when my sister got married, I was sent to a mobile unit at the 1st January work site, and I stayed there and worked there for about uh, three months, and I was asked to stay behind the Barai Chondai Pagoda before they could build a long sleeping building. And it took about Avant one month before that uh, building uh, was completed. Okay. Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. Je vous propose d'arrêter là pour que puis je puisse vous poser des, des questions pour vous permettre de dérouler votre récit à partir du moment où vous avez été envoyé au barrage du 1er janvier pour qu'on comprenne bien les raisons pour lesquelles vous êtes parti et votre vie durant les trois mois que vous avez passé sur le, le chantier du barrage. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire de manière courte, si possible, à quel moment et pourquoi 
Vous êtes parti sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. Euh, Mistreat my uh, family members, and if I were not to go to the first Henry Dam work site, then I would be sent to maybe another work site further away from uh, the village. However, upon my return, I learned that my other sister was mistreated. She was deprived of food, and my parents were also mistreated. I felt hopeless. I felt sick again when I saw what happened, and my mother begged me not to go back, but I told her if I were to stay here, I would die anyway, because during the 1977, a lot of people had been killed or died. Je vous remercie. Pouvez-vous dire à la cour quel âge vous aviez quand vous avez été muté sur le barrage du 1er janvier Quand vous avez été transféré sur le site du 1er janvier de la ville Président, Madame Civil Party, please observe the microphone. Civil Party, I was 11 and Years old or 12 years old, if I recall it uh, correctly. If you uh, count the age according to the Khmer si uh, method, I was 12, but for the, uh, from the exact date of birth, I was around 11, and I was the youngest member in the mobile unit. Je vous remercie. Je voulais vous lire un passage Thank de you. votre euh, like to to document supplémentaire que vous avez soumis au CETC. Il s'agit du document E307-6.1.6, ERN en français 01-03-02-94, ERN en anglais 01-06-03819, ERN en Khmer 01 00 33 57. Vous avez indiqué ceci dans ce document et je voulais vous faire réagir. Vous indiquez pour expliquer la, la raison pour laquelle vous êtes parti sur le barrage du 1er janvier. Et je vous cite, il s'agissait d'un véritable sacrifice pour ma famille de partir travailler là-bas. Je me disais que si quelqu'un de ma famille acceptait d'aller travailler sur ce chantier très loin et où les conditions étaient très difficiles, les Khmer Rouges n'auraient rien à reprocher à ma famille. Pouvez-vous expliquer à la Cour cette idée de, de sacrifice Pourquoi était-ce un sacrifice pour votre famille de vous voir partir sur ce barrage to have to go and work at that damn work site. It meant that although I was uh, younger, I would do everything for my family so that they could be in peace. And I do not mind whether I would be exhausted from hard work. And that was uh, one of the primary même reasons si for me to be part of the de mobile de unit. Si And it was my expectation that my family members would be left alone when I went to work uh, far uh, in the mobile unit. And I could not understand uh, whether my decision at the time was a correct one. Je vous remercie. Pouvez-vous indiquer à la Cour avec qui êtes-vous parti de votre village 
jusqu'au barrage du 1er janvier Étiez-vous avec d'autres membres de votre unité, d'autres membres de votre village par exemple Pouvez-vous expliquer les personnes qui ont fait le voyage avec vous et comment ce voyage s'est-il déroulé Nous Then un camion venait à nos, venait alors other people would do the same and then we would be uh, drop off at a Kampung Tpo. Et ensuite on nous déposait à Kampung Tpo. Vous vous souvenez-vous combien de temps a pris le trajet you entre votre village et le site du barrage du 1er janvier What is the distance from your village to the first January What is the distance? I recall that I stayed overnight at the Stung Trong. Je me souviens avoir passé la nuit à Stung Trong. But it took us about uh, two days and a night before we arrived at the destination. As we only stayed overnight at Stung Trong, and the second night we slept at the Kampung Tmo. Je vous remercie. Vous indiquez dans votre récit avoir pris le bateau, puis des camions. Vous souvenez-vous le nombre de personnes qu'il y avait dans le bateau ou dans les camions Est-ce que vous étiez nombreux à faire le voyage But I cannot recall how many people were put onto a track. I can recall that from each village there were about 10 of us. And then until the boat was full, then we would depart. And then another boat would pick the other people from other villages. Je vous remercie. Lorsque vous êtes arrivé à, à destination sur le site du barrage, à partir de quand avez-vous commencé à travailler For a little bit nous only, nous then we were asked to go, ensuite, in, uh, to, to go to the work site. On the first day, they, fam they let us uh, familiarize ourselves with the locations and with the truths, the, the holes, for example, and we started outils, working the next day. It's from my recollection. And we were not allowed to, to rest for long. We actually could rest only for the remainder of the uh, traveling day. En réalité, nous nous sommes reposés uniquement le jour où nous avons voyagé. So when we arrived, we then had to, to prepare uh, carrying a basket and hold, and nos we nos rested, could rest a little bit only after our uh, lunch, and we started working. That is my best recollection of what happened voilà upon ce our arrival. Je vous remercie. Pouvez-vous décrire l'endroit où vous avez the place, travaillé the you worked. 
which is uh, the, uh, the current Stungachinat River, and uh, that canal was called the First January uh, Canal. C'est le canal que l'on a appelé par la suite le canal du 1er janvier. If we go from Phnom Penh, we will reach uh, Stungachinat uh, River Phnom first. Penh, However, the location that I worked uh, was far from the main road, and nous, uh, nous uh, the Chinat River ran through to uh, Simriap. Cette rivière va jusqu'à Simriap. And the uh, work site was far from the sleeping quarter. Et le chantier était très éloigné de l'endroit où l'on dormait. Je vous remercie, je vais, je vais revenir là-dessus. Thank you, I will get back Est-ce to that later. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez Do you remember approximativement à quel moment, à quelle when année, quelle période de l'année year, vous êtes arrivé year, sur le site du barrage my elder sister was forced to marry either in December or January next year and I was not the first batch which was sent to work at the first January Dam work site I was the second batch so I was I went around January and after three months I returned which was around the Khmer New Year. So allow me to say that I went there around late January or early February and I worked there for three months. Je vous remercie. Vous indiquiez tout à l'heure que l'endroit où vous travaillez était éloigné de l'endroit où vous dormiez. Est-ce que vous pouvez donner plus de précisions sur l'endroit où vous dormiez Answer. First, I slept in a village near Barai Chondai. It was about one kilometer or two kilometers from the workplace. From the workplace, it was a bit quite close to the workplace at that time. And later, I was. Uh, asked her to sleep suite, in another place which was about five kilometers away from the work site. I had to wake up in the early morning to go to work. And after we completed our uh, work at one particular Lorsque place, we were moved to a further area. Quand vous dites que nous devions aller ailleurs, est-ce que vous pouvez elsewhere? expliquer à la chambre, la, chambre la façon dont vous vous êtes déplacé sur le chantier au cours de ces trois mois Est-ce que vous avez toujours travaillé au même endroit Comment vous avez How évolué dans le travail they measured the land for us to work exemple, on for le terrain où nous devions travailler the period of half a month or one month. Pendant and after we completed mois, the work at that particular place, we moved. We would move further. Nous plus loin. And we had to clear the bushes so that nous we can work on pour and travailler. we had to move from one place to another and it was becoming further and further from our sleeping squatter. Everyone nous was in the same situation, not only my people in my village. Je vous remercie. Thank vous you. parlez de travaux de défrichement. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la cour quel autre type de travaux vous avez kind of effectué durant ces trois mois sur le chantier carry dirt and soil and for de de uh, terre, male workers they dug the earth. I was told to carry the earth uh, from the canal and 
I had to carry it to the dam sites. So this is this was my routine work at that time. Sometimes I had to go and uh, fetch water Parfois for the older because I was younger autres, than the others at that time. I would go and fetch the water for everyone to drink. Tout le monde. There was a kitchen or dining hall where the water was kept and I had to go there and collect the water. It was a bit away from our work site. No one was allowed to go individually to that kitchen to bring the water to eat. And as I said, at times I was asked to go and collect the water. There was tube, so I used tube to uh, collect the water for some workers there to drink. C'était pour que les ouvriers puissent boire. Je vous remercie. Je voudrais que vous nous expliquiez like comment fonctionnait votre unité, combien unit de personnes composaient votre unité. Unit? Étiez-vous la plus jeune ou non Pouvez-vous nous donner Can un petit peu plus d'indications sur l'unité dans laquelle vous travaillez à l'époque from my rough estimate, I believe I cannot give you the exact estimates. There were hundreds of us in the unit, that is the unit in Prasap district, and there were many squatters. I could not give you an exact number of figures of the workers. Perhaps there were around 100 workers in my unit. And uh, what is your last question? I do not recall it. Yes, I'll get back to that later. Was your unit made up of different groups or subgroups made up of different groups or subgroups or were you all working together? Answer. In Prasap district, Dans le district de units Prasap, were divided, and after that, y a eu des uh, there were subgroups and groups. Et puis des et des -groups. And base people would be in charge of those groups and subgroups. As I said, uh, chiefs of the unit, subgroup dit, and groups uh, were base people. Des chefs de groupe et de sous -groupe, et c'était des membres du peuple de base. Je vous remercie. La question que je vous ai posée tout à l'heure était de savoir was, si vous étiez la plus jeune ou une were des the plus jeunes dans among votre sous-groupe sous et si vous vous souvenez de l'âge moyen des travailleurs dans votre sous-groupe sous et plus généralement dans votre unité speaking, si vous en avez unit, le souvenir. Uh, if you do remember that, of course. Answer. I could remember it. They were not old people. And their age were below 30 years old, and uh, most of them were teens, 16, 17. And 16 some other were late twenty, were in late twenties. I uh, did not see older people, and I was a one youngest uh, person moi, among those people. Je vous remercie. Quand vous dites que Thank vous faisiez partie you. des plus jeunes, est-ce à dire que vous aviez vu d'autres personnes du même âge dans votre sous-groupe ou dans votre unité, ou étiez-vous la seule qui était une enfant à l'époque, c'est-à-dire 12 ans I was the youngest in my unit, la plus jeune de mon unité. and people like were rather people uh, said that 
I was uh, too young at that time. I should have stayed jeune, with my mother instead. So people mère. were saying like this around, and uh, I uh, was asked whether I uh, was stopped breastfeeding. On me demandait time. même si j'avais arrêté de téter à l'époque. Je vous remercie. Vous Thank avez you. expliqué un petit you peu plus tôt le type de tâches que vous effectuiez sur le barrage. Est-ce que vous effectuez le même travail que les jeunes adultes et les adultes, adultes de votre groupe, adults ou est-ce que, adult est que vous aviez un travail différent compte tenu de votre kind jeune âge of think that I was too young at that time, so jeune. the earth carrier was uh, smaller than the other, and uh, usually I was asked to go and uh, collect the water général, for workers. They uh, did not uh, put earth full in my uh, basket, and en fait, as for elderly or elder people, uh, they would uh, carry a full of basket. Eux devaient transporter un panier bien plein. Je vous remercie. Aviez-vous des quotas à respecter Did you have to Et si meet oui, pouvez-vous expliquer à la cour yes, comment cela se passait specific uh, quota for me, but the quota was set up for the group. So I was uh, put in group. that group and help uh, carry earth. Je devais aider les autres à transporter de la terre. Vous souvenez-vous du quota qui était fixé pour votre the groupe? Quota that was set for your group? Answer. I do not recall it. I only recall that uh, the land was measured for the the district was divided into some cuts and the le quotas were set uh, for workers to complete in a particular period of time. That's what I knew at that time. Voilà ce que j'ai appris à l'époque. Avez-vous ressenti à l'époque une quelconque pression pour respecter les quotas qui étaient fixés order, uh, ou étiez-vous un petit peu à part set, du fait somewhat, de votre jeune âge uh, a bit in a I uh, Je devais did not travailler, j'étais contrainte de le faire. Care of any other matters but working. Je ne devais m'occuper que We de mon were not allowed to speak to each other. Nous I mean the 17th April were not allowed to speak to each other. Some of them complained about the labor and uh, they said oh, what the society at that time was because uh, they were told to conduct a hard labor. Mais they complained at times. I was hard working Moi, at that time because I did aussi. not want uh, any blames on me. Car je ne pas que I was a working hard at the 1st January dam site and one time I collapsed. Je vous remercie. Pouvez-vous décrire you. You vos journées et surtout vos horaires de travail À quel moment de la journée commencez-vous à travailler Jusqu'à quelle heure aviez-vous des pauses Et jusqu'à quelle heure travaillez-vous en soirée Je vous remercie. A far place in the morning shift, so I had to wake up 
early in the morning to go to work. And when the day broke, I was there already at the work sites. And we rested during lunch time for a brief moment, and after that we would hear the bell ringing for us to resume our work. The rest time was about five, uh, 30 minutes. It was just a brief moment. During that rest time, we had lunch and took a small, a brief rest. And uh, in the afternoon, we also worked and uh, we would return at our sleep, sleeping quarter at around 9 or 10. Actually, at uh, my sleeping quarters, there were no water there for us to uh, wash ourselves. We had to go to villages, uh, to the well, to clean ourselves. Je vous remercie. Je voudrais revenir un petit peu Now sur I ces horaires. Like vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que votre Earlier, said, uh, dortoir était situé uh, environ à 5 km du barrage. Est-ce que vous pouvez être un petit peu plus précis Nous dire si Can vous vous en souvenez à quelle heure vous vous leviez le matin, vous avez uh, indiqué que vous le morning, très tôt, et combien early. de temps il and vous fallait pour marcher de votre dortoir vers le barrage Est-ce que ce sont des informations dont vous vous souvenez aujourd'hui at around 4.30 or 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we took a very long time to go to arrive at our workplace. I do not remember how long it uh, would take, but we had to spend much time uh, traveling to our workplace. From the national road, at Kampong Thmo to my work site, it took a long period of time to arrive there, and that place was called Pung Thnaut or Chen La Thu. And once again, I had to spend much time traveling to work. Mais comme je l'ai dit, je sais que je me souviens surtout du fait que cela prenait beaucoup longtemps. Y avait-il un trajet à effectuer entre le barrage et l'endroit où vous preniez le déjeuner, la pause déjeuner Between uh, the uh, dam and the place where you would take your lunch break. Answer. It was not far from the work site to the place where we ate. L'endroit où nous mangions n'était pas éloigné du chantier. I could not give you the estimate. It was about 100 meters from the work site, or it was less than that. Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que vous arrêtiez votre travail, si j'ai bien compris, à 21h, 22h. Est-ce que c'est l'heure à laquelle vous arrêtiez le travail ou l'heure à laquelle vous étiez arrivé dans les dortoirs Est-ce que vous vous souvenez ou est-ce que c'est trop fou Je vous remercie. Sometimes we stopped uh, working at 9 or 10 p.m. and after that we had to return to our sleeping squatter. I recall that in the evening we had a brief period of rest and after that we resumed our work until 9 or 10 p.m. Et puis nous reprenions jusqu'à 21h ou 22h. Arrive at our sleeping squatter at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. I do not know about other villages working hours. During the bright season, so we 
wood or work at night. Pendant la saison sèche, nous travaillions And la nuit. Uh, was uh, used to light our working uh, site, pour, uh, our workplace. Éclairer le chantier. Je vous remercie quand vous dites que lors de la saison sèche, When vous travaillez la nuit. Season, que voulez-vous dire par là exactement Est-ce que vous êtes du coup exactly? après 22h Et si oui, à quelle fréquence yes, travaillez-vous la nuit en saison sèche Work in uh, the dry and uh, rainy season. We had the same assignment. During saison, the rainy season, sèche. I was not told to go Pendant and pluies, do the transplanting, and uh, we had to work under the rain as well. Piquage. There was no rest uh, during the rainy season. Pour clarifier, Madame la partie civile, quand vous parlez de travail de nuit, pour vous, euh, cela veut dire quoi, travail de nuit C'est à partir de quelle heure et jusqu'à quelle heure Six or seven p.m. We Le started soir, nous travaillions à partir de 18h ou 19h p.m. until 9 or 10 p.m. That for night shift. Et juste pour clarifier complètement, est-ce que ces horaires de soirée étaient uniquement en saison sèche ou en saison euh, des pluies également? President, please wait, uh, Madame Civil Party. You may not proceed, uh, Mr. Cope. Um, I un, I un, uh, good morning, Mr. President, uh, Your Honours. Um, I think an objection is in place because uh, we heard Civil Party testify earlier that she only worked for a period of three months. La participante me dit précédemment qu'elle avait travaillé pendant trois mois uniquement. Um, then it is indeed true that the civil party offered evidence that she also worked in the rainy season. Um, however, I think um, the civil party lead lawyer should first clarify um, that um, difference in testimony. Um, it is my understanding that uh, the rainy season starts about uh, May um, and then goes up until October. Uh, so it's either working three months from January to command the year or also in the rainy season and then it's not possible to work only for three months. So I think that should be first clarified by, um, by questions. Je souhaitais simplement que la partie civile rebondisse sur ce qu'elle elle-même a she précisé, puisqu'elle semblait, il semblait important pour elle de préciser qu'elle travaillait en saison sèche. Je voulais simplement la faire réagir sur ce qu'elle-même a déclaré sur le fait qu'elle travaillait en soirée en saison sèche. Je ne voilà, sais pas so si c'est clair, mais Madame la partie civile, civil est-ce que vous pouvez nous indiquer si vous travaillez en soirée en saison sèche mais alors pour aller au, au fond du well, coup de la question, est-ce que vous vous souvenez 
real gist of my question. Do you remember having worked de saison des pluies donc si on je vous comprends bien peut-être en the fin de votre euh, séjour sur le barrage est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez d'y avoir travaillé pendant la saison des pluies Do you remember therefore having worked during the rainy season Ma mémoire n'est pas très bonne. Il y a eu une pluie quand je travaillais là, et comme je l'ai dit, j'ai dû travailler sur le chantier. Et je me souviens d'avoir dû travailler alors qu'il pleuvait. Je vous remercie. Aviez-vous des jours de repos pendant les trois mois où vous avez travaillé sur le barrage du 1er janvier Did you have any days of rest during the three months when you worked on the 1 January dam worksite Je ne pouvais pas me reposer. There should be two days off during the time that uh, people were working. But in my village, uh, I had uh, no resting time. Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué un petit peu plus tôt un, éva un évanouissement sur le chantier. Étiez-vous, ou plutôt dans quel état de fatigue étiez-vous à l'époque I was so exhausted on that day. I did not have enough sleep and did not have my fuel. I fainted. I was ill as well at that time. I was carried away to my sleeping squatter after I fainted. Je vous remercie. Quelles étaient vos, vos rations alimentaires pendant les trois mois Étaient-elles toujours les mêmes Ont-elles évolué sur cette période Pouvez-vous un petit peu nous expliquer ce que vous mangiez à l'époque Put Russian in my village in Krajes was comparably good, and when I went to fetch water for workers, I also asked people about food Russian. And for my food Russian, there was a soup and cooked rice, and we also had a pumpkin. À base de soupe, de riz, for de our courge. foods. People in village, in my village, would bring uh, those vegetables to our workplace. C'était les gens de village qui apportaient ces légumes sur le chantier. And uh, we could not have uh, food as uh, much as we wanted. Uh, food ration was uh, given to us. And uh, on every 10 day we would Tous les dix jours, have uh, the dessert, that is the sti uh, sticky rice. Dessert, and du riz. during the Khmer New Year time, there was a there were two pieces Colons. of uh, ice, and uh, those two pieces were put in a big uh, bucket. Puis, il y avait deux de and uh, it was de so glace, hot at that time, and the water even we had uh, that two chaud. pieces of ice was not cold. Et même avec ces deux de glace, Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure que vous étiez Thank tombé you. malade. 
Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer si vous êtes régulièrement tombé malade sur le chantier ou non Et si votre évanouissement était le seul moment où vous avez été malade je n'étais pas souvent malade. And during the time that I uh, fainted, lorsque je me suis évanoui, I felt uh, dizzy. And every time uh, I uh, would go back to work after I uh, got recovered from my uh, minor illness. And uh, after I fainted, after two days, I uh, went back to work. And when I fell sick, there was a medic to treat me, and the medic was not well trained. I was given a rabbit dropping medicine to drink for my illness. I recall that when I was sick on that day, I was given a tablet or a piece of medicine from a man taken from town and I could uh, recover. As for the rabbit dropping medicine uh, given by the medic of the Khmer Rouge, uh, I did not uh, drink it. There was no blood test uh, when uh, we fell sick. I uh, do not really understand how the medic uh, which was, uh, who was not trained uh, treated us. Je vous remercie. D'autres membres de votre Thank groupe ont-ils été malades à l'époque pendant les trois mois où vous étiez sur le barrage En avez-vous le souvenir Certains sont tombés had a coin massage at the site of the work site and after the coin massage they went back to work some people uh, when they fell sick they would uh, go and take a short rest for those who were seriously ill they were told to take a rest near the uh, work site and for the sick who could not recover they would be sent to the village or to the hospital in the pagoda at one time i was uh, seriously ill and i was sent to uh, the uh, medical unit at the pagoda Pouvez-vous nous décrire cette unité médicale dans la pagode Est-ce qu'il s'agit de l'hôpital dont vous parlez Non, 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 during the time that I was working at the 1st of January work site. Later, when I was assigned to work at another place, I fell seriously, seriously sick, and I was sent to a medical unit in the pagoda. It was in a dining hall of that pagoda. There was traditional uh, healer in that pagoda and uh, the healer would use the herbs to cook and boil so that there was a boil water for us to drink. I had dysentery on that, at that time. At that time, there was a water, looked like uh, the uh, 
beverage uh, water and uh, the uh, liquid was put inside that water and uh, I uh, received uh, the injection shot from uh, that uh, bottle. Je vous remercie. Je voudrais revenir sur le barrage du 1er, jan du 1er janvier. Avez-vous le souvenir que des travailleurs au sein de votre groupe ou votre unité ont été envoyés à l'hôpital Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous avez le souvenir Et je parle bien du barrage du 1er janvier. Je vous remercie. Savez-vous si certains des, des travailleurs dont vous parlez et qui sont retournés dans leur village ou leur commune d'origine sont revenus ensuite travailler sur le site du barrage du 1er janvier je vous remercie. Avez-vous assisté à des, à des réunions lorsque vous étiez sur le barrage du 1er janvier while you were at the first January dam work site? Je vais, je vais répéter la question, je crois que vous ne l'avez pas entendue. Avez-vous assisté à des réunions sur le barrage du 1er janvier Je ne sais pas si la traduction passe. Vous m'entendez, Madame la Partie civile Can you hear me, Madame civil party? Okay. Je repose ma, ma question. Right. Avez-vous participé à des réunions lorsque question. vous étiez sur le site du barrage du 1er meetings janvier Oui, j'ai fait des réunions le 1er janvier. Oui, j'ai participé à des réunions au unit level. At the district Au level, unités, and sometimes there was a mass meeting where we all attended. Nous tous. Je vais vous poser du coup quelques courtes questions sur ces réunions. Qui animait ou dirigeait ces réunions? On those meetings, who conducted and chaired those meetings? Like the ones in the courtroom here, I did not know who were the leaders of the uh, regime at the time. I only knew the faces of the uh, village chief, uh, commune chief, or some uh, cadres in the uh, local area. But I did not know who the actual leaders of the regime were, as I did not see them while I was working at uh, the damn work site. Je vous remercie. À quelle fréquence avaient Thank lieu you. ces réunions How Et avaient-elles lieu pendant held? la journée ou après were la journée de travail During the day or during the working day 
Most of the time, the meeting was conducted at the end of the working hours. Only when it was necessary or urgent, the meeting would be conducted during the working hours. And usually, Meetings uh, were held rather frequently at various levels, for example, at the group level, or at the unit level, or at the village level. As for the mass meeting, it only happened very rarely, but the meetings at the group levels happened rather frequently. Concernant les réunions de groupe, tout d'abord, pouvez-vous nous expliquer ce qu'on vous, ce qu vous disait lors de ces réunions Quel était le message adressé aux travailleurs the main purpose was to push us to work as hard as possible in order to finish the work before other villages or communes working at the work site. During the regime, the theory that they used at the time was self-criticism. It means we had to watch one another who was our work colleagues in order to catch the mistakes in order uh, to criticize during the meeting. And they also use a phrase that uh, they hate many eyes as pineapples. Uh, and another word that I recall, uh, they use that the, the, the moment or the momentum was a historical will. Je and if you interfere with your leg or your arm, it would si crash you. And he also used another a slogan from my recollections that is the, the great leap forward. And another one was uh, to keep is no gains, to lose. It's, it's also uh, no gain. And uh, these are the typical uh, words and uh, slogans uh, they voilà use at the time. And if one was uh, to fall sick, the person would be si accused of malade, pretending to be sick. It means, in general, after they, they took control of the regime, we had to conform régime, to what uh, they need. They, we all had to get rid of the uh, capitalism uh, nature in our ourselves. The interrupts. The time is uh, convenient for a short break. We take a break now and resume at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the civil party at the waiting room for the civil parties and witnesses unit break and invite her and the uh, TPO staff back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.